A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. In a significant meeting on September 27, 2024, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky engaged with former President Donald Trump in New York City. Amidst rising tensions surrounding the ongoing war in Ukraine and the impending U.S. presidential election, this encounter comes at a crucial time as Trump, the Republican nominee, has been vocal about his criticisms of U.S. support for Ukraine, raising concerns in Kiev about the future of American assistance should he win the upcoming election. Zelensky's visit to the United States coincided with the United Nations General Assembly, where he sought to secure continued support from global leaders against Russian aggression. During their 40-minute discussion, both leaders expressed a desire for the conflict to come to an end, yet their approaches to achieving peace diverged significantly. Trump has previously claimed he could resolve the war within 24 hours if elected, but critics worry that any agreement he might broker could involve Ukraine ceding territory to Russia, a notion Zelensky has firmly rejected. We have to decide it now, because after November, we don't know who is, only Americans decide who will be the president, but we understand that till November, we can't stop Putin, Zelensky stated, emphasizing the urgency of the situation. He has been actively meeting with both presidential candidates, including President Joe Biden, to ensure that Ukraine's needs remain a priority in U.S. foreign policy. Trump, in response to the ongoing conflict, remarked, it has to end. At some point, it has to end, acknowledging the dire situation faced by Ukrainians. However, he has also faced backlash for his comments regarding Zelensky and the state of Ukraine, referring to the country as demolished and its people as dead. His statements have raised eyebrows, especially in light of his past impeachment related to his dealings with Ukraine. Zelensky has criticized Trump's understanding of the conflict, suggesting that the former president oversimplifies the complexities involved. In an interview with The New Yorker, he referred to Trump's running mate, J.D. Vance, as too radical for advocating that Ukraine should make territorial sacrifices to end the war. This sentiment reflects a broader concern among Ukrainian officials that a Trump presidency might lead to diminished support and a more lenient stance towards Russia. The backdrop of this meeting is a deeply divided American political landscape, with the election drawing near. Biden has been a staunch supporter of Ukraine, rallying Western allies to provide military and financial assistance, while Trump's rhetoric has often cast doubt on the necessity of such support. The contrasting approaches to the Ukraine crisis could have profound implications for the future of U.S.-Ukraine relations. As the war continues to take a toll on both nations, the stakes are high for Zelensky, who is keen to maintain strong ties with the U.S. as his country fights for its sovereignty. With the election just around the corner, the outcome could drastically alter the dynamics of international support for Ukraine and the broader geopolitical landscape. The meeting between Zelensky and Trump may have offered a glimpse into the potential future of U.S. involvement in the conflict, but for now, uncertainty looms as both leaders navigate the complexities of their respective political realities. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.